Good morning, uh, Jake Livingston, Operations Chief with the Cedar Creek Fire East Zone and the Alaska Incident Management Team. I'll give you an update for Wednesday, September 14th. Um, starting out with the weather, today the temperatures will be in the 60s. We can expect humidities to be in the mid 30s to mid 40s. Winds will be northwest 5 to 7, so a pretty moderate day as far as weather go goes, and we don't expect uh, a lot of fire growth today. Uh, we are looking at some possible rain into the weekend. That's just something that we're hoping for and something to be aware of. Um, starting out on the south end of the fire, uh, we got a camp established at the Junction Snow Park. We're calling it Junction Camp. Yesterday there was uh, 200 plus people there um, and we're expecting that to grow over the next several days as we move resources down there to start work on the south end. Starting up uh, on the, the zone break with Pacific Northwest Team 3, uh, we're co coordinating with them as they, they come up with a plan to secure a cross towards us. Um, then we, we just want to make sure we're coordinated well with, with what we're doing and what they're doing. Right now we're, we're working on prepping the 5897 road as a containment feature and then all the way down to the Highway 58 corridor and then we'll use Highway 58 uh, prepping that on the north side of it with machines and personnel once we get them in there and, and control the traffic um, and that'll be heading east over toward Odell Lake and then uh, past it. At Odell Lake we have a structure group they're working in there they have been working in there for the last couple days they've identified 70 plus structures uh, on the north side of Odell Lake uh, in between the highway and the lake as well as others uh, 40 plus over in Sunset Cove so they've done a lot of work on the ground there as far as uh, just clearing some of the ground fuels away and some of the uh, the brush and whatnot and then they've put in supply orders and as those supply orders of pumps hose sprinklers come in they're going to set that up all around there and then moving to the, the east and then a little south down uh, past Crescent Junction, um, up into the subdivision here, Diamond Peak. Uh, there'll be some personnel moving in there starting today and then as uh, more personnel move in, move in over the next couple days, they'll be assessing that and doing the same thing as Odell Lake. Uh, Willamette Pass, ski area. Uh, we have a staging area set up there. That has been prepped. Um, that's where we uh, stage a lot of our equipment and uh, personnel and then we work out of that point. So that's taken care of. As you move further to the east, uh, you have the 4668 road that heads to the north and east uh, off of Odell Lake up to Davis Lake. So we've got crews in there uh, prepping the north side of that. Again, doing the same thing, just removing the excess vegetation and understory and that sort of thing. And then over on the 46 side of things, uh, we're working to the southwest on the 4660 road, doing the same thing with crews, a shaded fuel break, and then we'll just meet up with the work here and create a, a catcher's mitt, if you will. So we'll have this catcher's mitt, and then there's uh, this one right here uh, on the 5897. Uh, but, you know, that does not it doesn't deal with this right here but it does simplify if we can keep this fire from moving east right then all we'd have to worry about is this right here so we have multiple containment lines out there for different scenarios we're just we're planning for uh, as, as we uh, move up the 46 uh, into this area we have uh, equipment and personnel working south on 46 clearing 100 feet on the west side of it uh, a shaded field break meaning uh, leaving a tree every 40 foot, 40 foot spacing, uh, so it, it, uh, it's more aesthetically pleasing. We're not removing everything, just uh, primarily the brush and uh, debris on the ground and then a few of the trees for spacing. Um, and then that operation also from this point on the east side of Crane Prairie Reservoir, um, they're doing the same thing heading north. Um, and we prioritize this spot to work off of because of proximity to the fire and just creating a barrier there. Um, over, I've mentioned previously all the work that's been done around Coltus Lake. They continue to check on that, make sure all the equipment equipment's still operational as far as the pumps and hose and, and whatnot. A lot of work has been done and continues to be done over on Crane Prairie Resort area and all the values around there. Uh, Twin Lakes, 
uh, south and north. They're assessing that. Um, Lava, Lava Lake Resort in that area there has had a lot of uh, preparatory work done and uh, they're assessing further up. Um, so as I said, uh, from this point is where the work is heading south on the highway and then they're prepping the highway on the west side heading north, north as well, at the same time as doing all the specific sites. As far as the Highway 46 corridor and closures, um, right here at, at this junction is where the highway is closed. I think it's Crescent Junction. Um, so that's closed for accessing Cres or the Cascade Lakes Highway going north. Um, as far as Sun River, Lapine, those communities, uh, they're about 20 miles to the east approximately. Uh, so they're a long ways away. Um, and over the next couple weeks, I would expect smoke to still periodically uh, impact those communities, but they are still a long ways from, from this fire. Thank you.